In this episode of The Butt Chronicles, we take a look at Beavis and Butthead, episode 14, Home Improvement. Uh, welcome to Industrial Industries World Radios, The Butt Chronicles. Uh, you said welcome. Uh, oh, God. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, friends, and butt munches alike? Welcome to The Butt Chronicles, your audio guide to everything Beavis and Butthead. And I'm your host, DJ Glowing Eyes. And today we are taking a look at Beavis and Butthead episode 14, Home Improvement. It first aired May 24th, 1993 on MTV. And that's basically it. So what happens in Beavis and Butthead Home Improvement? Well, let's check it out. The episode starts in Beavis and Butthead's house as their TV shows President Bill Clinton giving a speech. Bill Clinton goes on talking about how the next generation of Americans will be the best he's ever seen and all the teenagers are just going to be the greatest ever. Then cut to Beavis and Butthead on the couch. Butthead says, Let's go out behind Walmart and shoot some turds. We're out of BBs, says Beavis. They're also out of M80s as well, and Beavis mentions that they should burn something. But they're also out of kerosene. They realize that they're out of glue and cash as well. The boys then continue watching Bill Clinton on TV as he talks about education and drug enforcement. I don't like stuff that sucks, says Butthead. Next, we see the boys outside. They're in the yard of Mr. Anderson's house as Mr. Anderson tells the boys... Now you'll only be painting the trim. And if I see a drop of paint anywhere else, you'll clean it up and it'll come out of your pay. I don't want to see a whole lot of brush strokes and bubbles neither. You know, back then when I was in the service, they'd throw a fellow in the brig for messing up a paint job. Mr. Anderson then leaves, telling the boys that he'll be back later to check up on them as he mows the lawn. This is when the boys spot a metal can of John's Blair paint thinner, and they fight over it. Butthead punches Beavis away. Beavis kicks Butthead, calling him a bunghole. Butthead takes the cap off of the paint thinner can and breathes into it. A disclaimer shows up at the bottom of the screen saying, Breathing paint thinner will damage your brain. Look what it's done to Beavis and Butthead. Beavis gets a hold of the paint thinner can and breathes in as well. Both of the boys develop stars and swirls above their heads. Now that the boys are intoxicated with fumes, they decide to start painting Mr. Anderson's house. In all the wrong places. Butthead starts painting the windows, the window shutters, the bricks, all in blue paint. Beavis picks up a gray cat and starts painting its back as it screams. Butthead says, Paint his butt. And then when Beavis does it, Butthead says, that was cool. As Mr. Anderson rides on his lawnmower with a beer in his hand, it cuts to Beavis, who's riding Megadeth in blue paint on the front of the house. Butthead on the other side of the house writes, X-Force Rules. As the blue paint is dripping everywhere on the house and it's dripping onto the bushes below, Beavis paints the Anarchy symbol, a capital A inside of a circle. The boys then sing, Breaking the law, breaking the law. Let's burn something, Beavis says, as he holds up the can of paint thinner. Mr. Anderson gets off his red riding lawnmower and then goes and checks up on the boys. As he walks up, he says, Hey, I forgot to tell you boys, there's some paint thinner in the... What the... We now see a full shot of the house as Mr. Anderson sees all of the damage. As we see a full picture of the house, we also see what the boys did, which is they painted Metallica and ACDC on the roof, a zigzag of blue paint across the front of the house, the cat covered in paint, leaving behind blue paw prints, and a fire is set to one of the bushes. We then cut to Beavis and Butthead as they're driving down the street on Mr. Anderson's riding lawnmower. A cop car drives past the boys, and Butthead mentions that they should mow Stewart's living room. They run over a brown bottle with the lawnmower, shooting out shattered glass out of the discharge chute. The boys then take the mower off-road and into the botanical gardens, tearing down the hedge wall by the entrance, and also running over full beds of flowers. 
We cut back to Mr. Anderson, who's now talking to the two cops, reporting what the boys have done. One of them calls themselves Butthole. The other one's name is Joe, I think. The officers then ask Mr. Anderson what the boys look like. I believe they're Oriental, replies Mr. Anderson. We then cut to an aerial view of a four-way intersection, as cars are jammed and blocked in every which way, honking their horns as Beavis and Butthead are in the center of it all. As they sit on the mower, surrounded by honking cars, Butthead says, Hey Beavis, we're pretty cool, huh? Yeah, says Beavis. And that's the end of Beavis and Butthead episode 14, Home Improvement. Now let's check out the music videos. First music video, we have Frankie Goes to Hollywood with Two Tribes. Beavis asks, What is this? This is crap, Butthead says, as he then follows it up with, Art sucks. The boys talk about the Rocky movies. Have you seen the movie Rocky V? Asks Beavis. Yeah, it's not as cool as Rocky V, says Butthead. They wind up changing it. Next, we've got Biz Markey with Just a Friend. And in the video, Biz Markey's wearing a powdered wig. Butthead says, he's dressed up like that dude on the dollar. And the boys sing along with the song, a little bit off throughout the chorus. Next is White Zombie with Black Sunshine. And the boys like it, and they headbang throughout the music video. It's about time they played something cool, says Butthead. And from the dreadlocks that Rob Zombie has in the video, Butthead asks Beavis if he's from Rastafaria. And last, we've got Edie Brickell and New Bohemians with What I Am. And as the singer is squatting while she's singing, Beavis says, Heh <laughs> she's pinching a loaf. Butthead says, She's married to that short, old guy. The dude Butthead is referring to is Paul Simon, who stands 5 foot 3 inches tall. As Edie Brickell sings the line, What I Am is What I Am, Butthead says, Didn't Popeye say that? Yeah, they ripped this off from Popeye, says Beavis. And that's your music videos. Now let's check out the fun facts. This is one of the episodes that rarely got shown after its first airing. But if it did get shown, it had a few things censored. So the thing that got censored after its first airing initially was any reference of burning something. Which we'll get into later episodes about the whole fire fiasco. If you want to watch this episode, it was released on a few things, most notably on the Mike Judge Collection DVD set. So what you see in the Mike Judge Collection is that the episode starts off right at Beavis and Butthead at Mr. Anderson's house, and it ends as soon as Beavis and Butthead enter the Botanical Gardens. So Tom Anderson talking to the cops about how Butthead's name is Butthole and the whole traffic jam at the end, that is all cut. And the uh, conversation at the beginning as Beavis and Butthead are watching Bill Clinton on TV, that was cut as well. Another thing that was cut in the Mike Judge Collection DVD was the paint thinner disclaimer as well. As this episode was on the VHS release of There Goes the Neighborhood, as well as the Time Life DVD, the paint thinner sniffing was cut, as well as Beavis painting the cat. Some other Beavis and Butthead characters did show up in this episode, but very, very far off in the distance you can make them out. You can see Stuart's dad, Principal McVicker, and Coach Buzzcut all sitting in their cars yelling and honking their horns. Home Improvement is the ninth episode of Season 2 of Beavis and Butthead, and it's the 14th episode overall. IMDB, the Internet Movie Database, gives Beavis and Butthead Home Improvement a whopping 8 out of 10 rating. Now, I'll give you my review. This episode isn't new to me as I did see it back then. And um, the thing I remember the most actually is the Edie Brickell music video where Beavis is saying she's pinching a loaf. I don't know why, I just always thought that was funny. So anytime I ever like squat down to do anything... <laughs> That line sometimes comes into mind, thinking, yeah, I'm pinching a loaf. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't recall any of the beginning scenes, all the scenes that got cut from the Mike Judge collection, because 
Uh, seeing it as a kid, it's just, just very vague, you know. But then you buy the Mike Judge Collection DVD set, and there's a lot of episodes in that set that are uh, quote unquote director's cuts. And yet they're cut, you know, my, how Mike Judge wants them. But you would think in a director's cut there would be more or just a lot more added to it or something or things were uncensored. But they're actually just trimmed down and they're just like, they're, they're kind of worthless. Like, give me the real deal. Give me the full thing. That's what we want to see. So I was remembering the this episode being very, very short. And I always wondered why. It's like, oh, there's so much more to this episode that I kind of forgot in the cobwebs of my brain. But uh, the one thing that I find very funny <laughs> is uh, Tom Anderson saying, one of them calls themselves butthole. <laughs> I just love that. That's good stuff there. But uh, this was a good episode. The story was uh, very solid. You know, this is the first episode, I think, where Beavis and Butthead uh, really wreck and ruin Tom Anderson's lawn or his house or whatever. I thought this episode was decent, but I didn't think it was all that brilliant, all that great. It was right on the line, but I'm just going to have to give this one a 6 out of 10. I do like this episode. It has some rewatchable qualities because of the music videos. Uh, Good choice of music videos in this episode. White Zombie. I love White Zombie. It was cool hearing... Uh, the boys' takes on the band, and uh, yeah. So there you go, guys. Beavis and Butthead, Home Improvement. I give it a 6 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs>